I'm going to be sharing with you my MAC lipstick collection. I just wanted to come on here and share how I store them. I do store them in these four tier little acrylic containers. I got these off of eBay and they were of I think five dollars so this is what I store them in. This does hold 24 and I really enjoy using these. So here are all of my lipstick colors except for a couple on the side that don't fit into here. I sort of keep them in an organized fashion and I am going to swatch them in sort of an organized fashion. My darks, my reds, my kind of pinks, and my nudes. So I'm just going to go right ahead and get into the video. I'm going to start off with my dark lipsticks and the first one is actually going to be Cyber. Cyber is a satin finished lipstick and is a deep darkened blackened purpley plum color. Um, it's not as pigmented as I like in a lipstick but it is quite buildable. It first goes on sheer but then builds up to this just beautiful purple black deep color. I often set it with a translucent powder to give it a matte finish so it survives throughout the day but I really love this lipstick. Next up is from the 2012 Holiday Collection, and this is called Dramatic Encounter. It is also in the holiday packaging, in case you're wondering why it's different. This is an amplified cream finish, and it's almost identical to Cyber, but it's just a little bit more of a muddy, brownie kind of color, but I still really like this shade. So when Cyber runs out, I have a backup of a sort of similar color. From the 2011 holiday collection, I have Hang Up, and this fell down in case you're wondering why it looks like this, but you can get Hang Up in MAC's permanent collection. It's just in a special packaging, and this is a cream sheen finish, which makes it just really smooth, and it just glides on. It's a deep berry color, and it is just absolutely beautiful. I love this for the holidays. It's a really nice color, and it's very moisturizing. Next is my favorite lipstick, and this is Diva by MAC. This is a matte finish which makes it last pretty much all day. I love the finishes that MAC has created for their matte lipsticks. They are just a dream and I absolutely love them. This is an intense reddish burgundy color and it is perfect for the fall and for the holidays. It's just so nice and one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. Next on the block is Rebel and it is a satin finish and this Rebel shade is actually, I would describe it as a creamy plummy kind of color. It looks a bit more pink than it actually is in real life but it's just a really nice mid-tonal kind of plum shade and I really enjoy it. It's perfect for the fall time and it's for the summer whenever. It's just a really nice color also. That is it for my dark colors and on to my reds. I love my red lipsticks, so here we go. So first up is Viva Glam 1 and this color, I cannot get enough of it. I love this color. It's an intense brown, blue, red color and it is just a beautiful. It's a matte finish which I love. I love all MAC matte lipsticks and I just find this lipstick to be such a staple for my collection now. I just love it so much and I recently purchased this and I don't regret it. Next up is Russian Red and this is a matte finish also and this is more of an intense bluish red than Ruby Boo. It's really close to Ruby Boo but a little just more of an intense color. It's just like pow in your face and I love this color. It applies so nicely and it's just really really beautiful. I love this color. It looks so nice on. It's so beautiful. And speaking of Ruby Woo, here it is right here. This is the retro matte formula that Ruby Woo is so famous for. It's a little bit of a drier formula than the actual matte formula that MAC usually creates. And it's a little bit harder to go on, but still lasts all day and is just really beautiful. This is like famously MAC, just it's what they're famous for is their Ruby Woo and it's lovely. I cannot live without it. And next is Riri Woo, which is also a retro matte finish and is really comparable to Ruby Woo because of the finish, obviously, and the color. Um, it is really, really close, but it's just like a little bit darker, like a smidge darker. All these reds are pretty much in the same family, but just a little bit darker. On um, this lipstick applies the exact same as Ruby Woo. It might be a little bit creamier, but it's really hard to tell. It's so beautiful. Rihanna did a really good job. Next up is Chili by MAC and this color is sort of a brownish 
orangey red color. It's really different than anything I own and I'm not sure if it really goes with my complexion or not. It kind of, I don't know, it washes me out but I really liked it when I swatched it on my hand so that's why I bought it. It is also a matte finish so it's just a beautiful, beautiful lipstick. I just can't get enough of the matte finishes by MAC. They're just, just so good. Love it. Next up is MAC Red. I put this through with the washing machine, sorry guys, but um, it's still usable. Um, so here it is right here. It's just a bluish tone red also. Um, it's pretty much exactly like Ruby Boo except it is a satin finish instead of a matte finish. It's a lovely lipstick. It's just a really gorgeous um, red color and I love it. So that is all for my red lipsticks from MAC and moving on to more crazy colors like this one I have on right now. This one isn't crazy, but this is the color Party Line. This is what I would call one of my more neutral looks. Um, it is a cream sheen finish and the color of it I would describe as like a sort of plummy like red toned plummy color is how I would think I would describe it. It's sort of like a brownish sort of color but I really enjoy this. This is what I wear when I don't want to be too intense with a really bold red but still looking nice. Another one of my everyday lipsticks is Captive by MAC. I cannot live without Captive. It is a staple for me. It's sort of a pinkish plum color. It is a satin finish but it's more of a in between a matte finish than a satin finish. It's just a really thick pigment and consistency which I love about it. Next up is Up the Amp by MAC and this is a amplified finish. On the website it says it's an amplified cream finish so I'm not too sure about that but this color is so beautiful. It's like a lavender violet color and it is just such a nice beautiful subtle pop of purple on the lip. It's just the color is so nice. I cannot get enough of this color. Next up is my ultimate regret in lipstick purchases. This is Viva Glam Nikki and I do not like this color on me. It's a really nice lipstick. It's an amplified finish. It's just not for me. The lavender on me just washes me out. Um, maybe it would look good on someone else but it mostly just sits in my bedroom for the most part. I don't really wear it out. I think I could find a better lipstick color to put on than this one. So that is it for all of those colors and moving on I'm going to be talking about my pink colors. I love my pink colors so here we go. So first in the lineup of pink is Girl About Town. This is the darkest pink shade that I own and it's just a really intense beautiful color. It is an amplified finish but this pigmentation in the lipstick is unbelievable. Like one swipe and you're good to go. Um, it's a really intense bright fuchsia color and it's just a perfect pink color. Like it's just a really nice pop of pink. Oh candy yum yum candy yum yum. Look at this pink lipstick. Candy yum yum is a really intense just neon pink just like in your face like a wabam color. It is a matte finish so it's just so nice and creamy and pigmented and just like just so beautiful. Look at this bright beautiful color. I hadn't actually put this lipstick on since I bought it until this video and I love this lipstick. I think I'm going to be wearing it all the time. It's so nice. Ooh, I love this color. Next up is Impassioned and Impassioned is a fuchsia kind of shade. It's sort of like a coral, like borderline coral pink color. Um, on Mac's website it says it's an amped up fuchsia, which I really believe it is. It's an amplified finish, so that name is kind of, you know, goes with it. And this color is nice. It's a nice um, pop of kind of pinky coral. Saint Germain is one of those lipsticks that I bought when I was tan and then I got pale and I never really dug it out and wore it anymore. It has a blue undertone to it and it's a really nice lipstick and looks great on people who are tan and if you whiten your teeth, Bailey, you need to whiten your teeth to put this lipstick on but um, it doesn't look that great because I am really pale right now but it is a really nice creamy beautiful lipstick and it is just a dream. It's really popular and if you're looking for a pink, get this one. 
Next up is a frost finish. This is the first frost finish I have. This is Costa Chic by MAC and it is a really bright kind of corally color. Um, This is actually my friend Alex's lipstick but it somehow got lost. Um, It does have a sheen to it which is kind of unlikely for me to enjoy but I really enjoy it with this lipstick. It is just a nice subtle coral color. Not too intense, not too bold, just really nice. So that is it for my pink colors and now I'm going to get into my nudes. I was never a nude kind of lipstick girl but now I am. So first up is Viva Glam Gaga and this is just a really nice baby pink pink color. Um, this is a luster finish so it gives you just a really nice sheen to your lips when you put it on. It's kind of a sheer finish but it is sort of buildable. It is kind of comparable to Saint Germain but a little bit more just of a sheer texture and formulation to it. Snob by MAC is one of those lipsticks that I bought because I just wanted to have more neutral colors so that is why I bought this. Um, it is a neutral light pink color and it is a satin finish and it is just a nice wash of pink. Um, it's just a really beautiful color and if you're looking for a nice neutral shade of a pink this might be the one for you to try. So here is Pink Plaid by MAC. It is a matte finish and this is one of my staples in my makeup collection. This pink is sort of a dirty bluish pink and it is just one of those lipsticks that I apply on and it is just so beautiful throughout the day. It's a matte finish so it lasts throughout the day and it's just a nice wash of pink over my lips without being too intense. So here is Faux and it is a satin finish. It's kind of a mauve color. It's a muted mauve pink color and these are one of those lipsticks that I swatched in the store and I thought it would be a really great just neutral everyday lipstick just to put some lipstick on to bring out my natural lip color and that's why I bought this and it just looks so natural on me like an actual natural lipstick and that's why I love it. Last up, but certainly not least, is Pretty Please. Um, this was one of the first MAC lipsticks I ever bought. That's why it looks like this. This also went through the washing machine. I have a bad habit of that. But it's a luster finish, and it's just a nice light wash of a nude shade over my lips. Um, it is a luster finish, so it is kind of shiny. It has a sheen to it, but I really like that just for an everyday kind of glossy look. So this is Pretty Please. So I hope you enjoyed my MAC lipstick collection video and if you want you can follow me on Instagram at baileybeautyxo and that's it. I'll see you later. Bye!